What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, Mr. Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our first two episodes, we did a little bit of the tutorials and all that stuff, and, well, we're going to continue on right here with uh, more tutorials because I guess that's how Pokemon Moon is. And, well, we're getting yelled at by Lily, and she's like, no, not that way. Okay, so which way should I go? Right here? No, because there is a Tauros... And he's like, enough already, Tauros. Calm down, you're getting, uh, you're going to hurt somebody. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we have to follow Lily somewhere around here. Ah, oh, there she is. Okay, so there's our girlfriend, Lily, and she's like, you can only reach the professor's lab by treading through all the tall grass here. He says he can, uh, research better moves better, or he can research moves better when he is surrounded by a Pokemon. Oh, well, okay, so we're just looking around, and, uh, well, since I'm not a trainer... Though I have to rely on using repels all the time, you you do know how to use uh, that using repels keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? Yeah, I do. And and about Nebby, oh, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from a far, far away or something. And well, of course, here's a pew. And well, it seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger, but some. Other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only Professor and uh, and Kahuna Hala and other people I, I I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anybody else about Nebby or what happened out on that bridge, please? Okay, sure, why not? Okay, well, you know, you do realize that I'm very very good at uh, keeping secrets because well, I never speak. I really do. I'm just the narrator and all that stuff. So, let us continue right here with battling some more Pokemon trainers. And, of course, as you probably remember, I got myself Joker, the Poplio, or Poplio, Poplio, yes, the Poplio Pokemon right here. And, well, as, as I'm doing this whole thing right here, guys, I, uh, you know, I do realize that many of you guys are wondering what my team will look like by the end of this whole thing right here. And I'm just going to say this, I've already completed Pokemon Sun separately from this right here, and I do have a nice team going on right there. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to have to try and trade back and forth from team to team, you know, get some Pokemon in here and there, just to make sure that my team is nice and powered up and all that stuff. Um, what else? What else is there? I don't even know. Uh, there is something pretty special about this game. And it has taught me to use a nice plethora of Pokemon right here. Now, here we are taking on a Grubin, and this is one of the Pokemon that I was thinking of grabbing because it does evolve into an Electric-type Pokemon. And, you know, how often do you see me using a Bug-type? Except for Hercules and all that stuff. But, yeah, this game has actually taught me how to, like, you know, be more diverse with the Pokemon that I, I pick up uh, along the way right here. Now, this, this, this region right here does have a nice amount of, uh, or a nice selection of Pokemon, including the Alolan ver uh, variants, which we're going to try and use right here, and, well, I, well, we just defeated Youngster right here, and, uh, well, don't know what to say about this, um, it, there might be a nice variety of Pokemon that we'll be using, there might not be, uh, there might be some Pokemon that you've seen in the past make their way right here in Pokemon Moon, it, it just, it, it, it all depends on what the, situ uh, the situation recalls right here, um, there are quite a few Pokemon that I've used in the past that I'm very, very comfortable with that I might be thinking of using here. Maybe, maybe, just eh, maybe, uh, sparingly. But my, F, well, my, my, my whole thing is that I kind of want to use some native Pokemon right here because in other games such as Pokemon X and all that crud, you guys have seen me just, you know, you know, use a specific Pokemon that I've used in the past in different generations and stuff. I think it's time for me to use more of a, you know, it's not, well, look at this, it's a slow poke. I think it's time for me to start using some native Pokemon, just like in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I did use quite a few uh, native Pokemon right there, so, um, we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens from, uh, from here on. And, well, yeah, we're not going to be battling any of these Pokemon right now. Off screen, we will be doing that to just to power up our Pokemon. And, well, there is a Pokemon trainer right there, so let's go ahead and take on her. And, well, Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. If there is something that I like about Pokemon Sun and Moon is the trainer battle music. It's just, it just makes you want to battle. It really does. And, well, here we go, going up against Wingle. Now, we, we, we kind of do not have a, an advantage against this since we chose a water-type Pokemon. 
And, well, let's see. To level 6. Let's go ahead and use our fairy type move, Disarming Voice. Now, again, I think I mentioned this in the last few episodes. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon is the very first game that actually provides a description of what's effective and what's non effective. And as of right now, I'm kind of just like, you know, being a little effective right here. And Wingle is affected by something. As you can see, Water Gun is not as super effective against this Wingle because obviously it is a water type Pokemon. And the AI kind of knew that, you know, I was going to go for a physical attack right here. So, there we go with a pound attack. Joker, let's do this. Disarming voice. Now, I think I mentioned this prior to when I chose Joker right here. It, yeah, it, 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 is a, it is the slower of the three starter Pokemon. So, throughout the adventure, we might be having a hard time just trying to get, get off some attacks first. Because, well, it is slow. Very, very slow. So, there we go defeated another trainer right here now look at that oh my god the water is pretty nice right here now we are in the Alola region four islands just like Hawaii and just a lot of stuff that we can do right here now there is another thing that we, we can do right here well we're gonna my team is going to be dictated well let me let me let me rephrase that okay so when I when I was choosing teams for different walkthroughs it all depended on what I needed for HMs now this is actually the first game that will actually well steer away from HMs because we have a what was it service Pokemon right here I think that's what it, what they were called and eventually we'll we'll get to them as you can see here we have an Alolan Radita I'm not going to uh, battle it this time right now or should I it is a dark type Pokemon and look at his disarming voice is super effective against this guy since he does have dark type capabilities and well Radita is not looking so good right now so here comes with a bite attack I think so here we go again disarming voice and Jesus criminy okay so yeah my, yeah we're definitely gonna have to start choosing some Pokemon pretty soon right here and like I said guys it's gonna be a nice diverse team look at that we grow to level 10. Joker smiling already, and well, let us move on right here. Let's see. Now there is another thing that I kind of don't like about this game. Yeah, it takes a long time to go to from screen to screen right here. So uh, let's get away from this and uh, yeah, get attacked by another Pokemon right here. What are we looking at? Oh, look at this! Another Alolan Radita. Going to run away from it because you don't want that smoke right now. I really don't. And we couldn't get away because, good gravy, it is faster than us. And, well, good gravy. Okay, so we, 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 we're in trouble right here. We are in trouble. So, let's see. We don't have another Pokemon. Let's go to the bag right here and get a potion off. Give this to Joker. And just start beating the living crap out of this Rattata. Again, big disadvantage. So here comes a quick attack from this Radita. All right, you hurt me. I'm gonna hurt you twice as much. And this Radita is giving us no mercy right now. I must be the leader of the pack right here. So here we go. Disarming voice nearly takes him out. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon right here because yeah, yeah we, we need to start dark collection and we need to have some backup just in case we don't have any other Pokemon right here so there we go two and three say hello to well not a team member but just you know say hello to a good old buddy Radita right here Alolan Radita and look at the Pokedex entry right here look at that registered and as you can see, Alolan Radita, it is a, a dark and normal type Pokemon. It says right here, when the sun goes down, it becomes active. It runs around town on a chase for good food for the boss of its nest, Radicate. Okay, Alolan Radicate, and well, we're not going to name you or anything because we are going to send you to the PC and everything else between that. So, let's get the heck out of here and straight to Professor Kukui right here. Oh, damn. Yeah, he, he's throwing down right now. Oh, yeah, Ruff Ruff. Let's go. Give it everything you got. My body is ready. Woo! Ah, oh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. 
Not a much of an assistant, but it's uh, it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe uh, maybe I'd be a more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Row, row, row. Oh damn! Okay, so we got something going right here. <laughs> Needed to sneeze right there. The professor. He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch up the roof again. And I had to just wash uh, his lab coat and finally get it clean too. Now it's now it'll be in shreds, and I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. Oh damn! We we'll probably go inside. Uh, we we should probably go in before he does anything more any more damage. Okay, so let's see what Professor Kukui is doing right here. Apparently he was battling and all that stuff. And well, look at this. This is the Pokemon Professor Lab. And he's just laughing it up. He is laughing it up right here. He's like, he's having a time of his life. And he just notices us and he's like, hey there, Draven. Thanks for getting him uh, for me, Lily. Okay, let's see. Of course, however, I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock Ruff's moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Draven, say, Draven let me see your Bogodex for a second, yeah? Okay, here you go, and well... So, what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? Mm, but that's not why why I called you here, eh? Here, I finally it finally arrived! It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't me uh, don't make me do all the talking! See, there, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom! It is a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of uh, something like electricity. It can make up a residence in machines. Yeah, buddy. And to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, it's the next generation of Pokedex. But it's only complete. Uh, it's only complete once a Rotom has gone into this po body specifically developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I if now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. Oh damn, what's going on right here? And zzz, look at that. Oh wow, it's a it's a Rotom. Hey now! Sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zzz. Rotom! Here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Draven a helping here uh, a helping uh, hand here. And well, look at it, it looks like it's having a good time right here. And well, it looks like we got ourselves a Rotom Dex right there. So, bam! As you can see, we got ourselves a nice Rotom Dex. And well, see, Draven, now you can talk to Rotom, or now Rotom can talk to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help exactly. Draven hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him a special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. Oh, okay, thank you so much, thank you very, very much. You can see where you, or you can see where you're headed just by looking at the Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can uh, even check uh, out the town map. Oh, you don't say, and, well, how it just comes in, happen, really, he happens to come in, and he's like, Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! Okay, look at this. They're all happy and stuff, and wow, he, he's definitely digging into place right here. And he's like, "Is that a loft? That's awesome!" <laughs> no, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Draven? How? Huh? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there for uh, in the loft. So Draven, I'm leaving this Pokedex or this Rotom de Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Draven, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is uh, your chance to become the strongest trainer around in the Island uh, Challenge champion. Whew. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go together. There are four main islands to, that make up Alola and the Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by these, the Kahunas as worthy, it's said that you must clear the seven trials. Draven, 
I want you and Bob Leo to get out there and give it your shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's move in, a fir in your very first battle. I think you must have talent for drawing out Pokemon straights, yeah? Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever you say, homie. Oh, yeah. As someone who's dedicated in my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everyone on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're getting amulets right there. Right on our backpacks. And, well, we're ready to go right here. I got one uh, from my Gramps, too. All right, then. Draven, you or you too, Hal, get a move on. Okay. To the trainer school. You've got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming a the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? Uh, I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them, right? The Island Challenge. So this is how people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Draven, yeah? Until he gets used to the Rotom, help him find his way around. Okay, alrighty, so she's going to be sticking with us for quite some time. That's right. And, well, as you can see, you know, Rotom's telling us that, you know, if you need some help, we just need to uh, click the middle of the, of the map right there. So we're going to do that. And, well, he's just going to tell, tell us what to do right there. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and click on, uh, okay, so that's, that's the middle right there. Let's see if I, uh, let's see, what do I do right here? Okay, click the eye. Okay, that's not good. Uh, how about the right eye, or the left eye? So we click the left eye right here. As you can see, it turns out to be the Pokemon, uh, the Pokedex right here. And it does have a different, you know, region or area of uh, Pokedex. Right now, we are in Melamele uh, Mele Island, and... So far, we've seen quite a few Pokemon right here. Eventually, we're going to be filling up this Pokedex, trading here and there for my Pokemon Sun game. And it does show you the percentage of, po of Pokemon that you've actually captured. Now, if you click on the little flag right there, as you can see, now you're looking at the map. And if you ch take a look at the bottom screen right here, everything is in dark because you have not visited yet. So there's... Just a few things that we visited it here and there, it's fine, but eventually everything's going to open up to us and it's going to show you what you can actually find in every single one of these areas right here. So, what's going to happen now, yes, I get, I, I, I know that this is another tour, uh, tour video right here, but in the next one, it's going to be the final one where we head to the trainer school and then hopefully we'll be able to capture some more Pokemon from here. Again, um, one of the things... One of the things that's really, really uh, bothersome about Pokemon Sun and Moon is these tutorial things. So once we get this whole thing going, bam, we'll start our adventure and start kicking some butts. I'll see you guys next time.